Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Greg. My name's Gavin. And this is Puddle Walkers Outdoors. Hey guys, using a Nico Helgramite today, and I've got it on an owner hook, 3 16 ounce. I got these at Show Me Creek. You can use promo code PWO10, save you 10% off your purchase, guys. Go hit Larry up, check him out. Oh, I got hit right there. Yeah, there's fish in that corner. Had something pick my Helgramite up here. I see a see some sunfish in there might have been one of them just felt the quick uh quick nibbling vibrations of a sunfish we haven't uh, been able to fish moving water like this in a while everything's been down so low we've stayed out of a lot of our local creeks because of it not that it's hard to fish when the water's down like that but the uh the water levels get low the oxygen levels get low and it starts putting a lot of stress on the fish and if we're fishing those areas we're giving them unneeded stress got a bass there's a nice one over here. Bring that crick hopper over here. I think I might switch to the crick hopper as well, guys. That uh, that cricket bites on. If you guys ain't seen low balling outdoors lately, you go check him out. He'll tell you all about that crick hopper. He's been smashing on them. May make a lure swap. I don't know yet. All right, guys. I'm switching over to the trusty Kelly worm. This is a uh, Indiana staple lure for uh, young kids fishing, and just I can't get bit, so we throw the Kelly worm fishing. We're gonna see what happens. We see these little fish in here. A uh, Kelly worm can usually pick those fish off. So we're just trying to find out if they're biting at all. Because, you know, sometimes the fish just aren't biting. Got that one. Gavin's got one. Him. Oh, nice. I watched him up straight eat that thing. No, bud, you're not eating, you're just coming at me. Yeah. I almost had the better one, guys. <laughs> you haven't got a decent one to start the day off with. Right there. Okay. Got him that time. Picked off one of the small ones in there. The Kelly worm. Yeah, it's the Kelly worm. Maybe I can get lucky and grab the other ones there we go guys little bitty one but man there's there's a really nice 16 17 in there and they're all just kind of swimming around together out there in the middle there's some really good ones in here really good one in there i don't know what that big one wants i don't know what speed they want but the kelly worm is moving slow enough to get them to look at it and follow it but it's not fast enough because if I go faster, I mess up the worm's action. And if I go slow, they get uninterested really quick. I'm wondering if I should go fluke. With the way these bass are turning on these plastics that are floating, because they're, they're straight turning and coming to this worm. They just won't take it. I've watched that big one both times, and he came aggressively, like turn, seen it, boom, and then stopped right in front of it, and then just swim off. He's done that to me <laughs> three times now. You saw him following it the one time. Every time I've seen him, I've been able to throw at him and, and turn him and have him come at it. I probably should put a fluke on. Oh, well, you got one. You got one of the good ones. Oh, wow. Told you he was good, dude. The fluke got it done. I knew it was a good call. I think I'm going to switch to the fluke as well, guys. That's what Gavin's using right here. We couldn't get these fish to want to hit. Oh, there's two of them taking. Mm -hmm. Hey, that ain't even the big one, is it? No, that's just a little guy. Cool, though. Yeah, on top of nailed that fluke. Mm -hmm. We see a bunch of them in here like this, guys. That's why we're still fishing this one hole. We're trying to figure out what they want. I recommended a fluke, and Gavin was the first one to tie it on. He was the first one to catch another fish. All right, let's let him go. Oh, ooh, Garrett. What you got, Garrett? Small mouth. Garrett's got one. Coming in. 
You put the fluke on too, huh? Yep. Yeah, I'm putting a fluke on. <laughs> I made up my mind. <laughs> See, man, they were wanting this worm. That's what was making me think that they we needed a fluke because they would come at this worm when it would when as it would hit the water, but then they would change their mind on it. And then I was seeing the shad swimming around, so I was like, you know what? Those are pretty big shad. We should try the shad. All right, guys, the zoom fluke. This is it. I really like the fork tail one. I know you see the paddle tail one's got all the fame, but this is uh, this is my baby right here, fork tail fluke. Hey guys, these are easy to rig. Hey guys, you just want to stick it in there, like so. Bring it down and around. Dang, that's a nice one. Put that on like that. Gavin's got a Gavin's got a big one. He couldn't wait on us. Is he big, big? Can we, can we finish fishing this other hole before we move on off camera? Yeah. All right there, guys, another one on the fluke. Gavin snuck off behind us and started fishing the next stretch without us. Caught a decent, uh, about 13 inch or really. He's a little he's skinny, a but yeah, he's long. definitely the longest one caught. All right, let's uh, go back to the hole here, Gavin, and let's finish fishing it. And then we'll all come over here and fish together he as a family. Break, so I gave it a break. As a family. <laughs> You gotta watch Gavin, man. He's, he's sneaky like that. He already knows. He's been watching me for too long. He knows the first one to cast in usually catches the fish. Oh, oh. there we go. Did it hit the water, dude? Yeah. Big munch on it. It's a fighter. It is, dude. I'm trying to keep up with him. Oh, it's a good one. I thought. Oh, come off right there. Could not keep the pressure on him. Yeah, he nailed it up there. Yeah. Didn't even, didn't even get a chance to get it moving, Gavin. That's what they call hitting him in the teeth. If they were coming across this or beside it, dude, I would have nailed him. Oh, nice one, Gavin. Right now, come right now. <laughs> Feels good. Yeah, I think you got a good one. Can't tell, it's so black in there. It is so black, I can't tell either. Also, that current is so strong right here. Oh, yeah, he's not bad. Nah. He's about what we've been catching. I definitely thought he was a lot bigger. He had a lot of heart. Oh. There we go. Barely even hooked, dude. Sweet. I got a hook digging him inside my pants. Awesome. He felt so much. Bigger when I was reeling him in. He really did. I thought he was so much bigger. Yeah, he felt big in this current. Yeah. He hit it around the other side too, didn't he? Huh? He hit it around the other side of the current. Yeah. Well, they, there was definitely one in it then. Oh. Oh. It's a good one, dude. He missed it way back there originally. I gotta quit missing these fish, dude. Or they gotta quit missing my bait because I never got a shot at him. He never just took it. You got him. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, it is. That's a good fish. It's a real good smallmouth, Gavin. That's a nice one. There we go. That is my best smallmouth of the day. Probably about like maybe 15 inches. Caught him with the uh, uh, Z-Man chatterbait. Guys, this fish fought, fought really, really hard. I thought he was so much bigger, but a really good fish. Beautiful fish. Look at that. He kind of almost got me snagged within that tree, but we're going to get him out of here. <laughs>
guys that's a wrap i hope you guys enjoyed this trip we had a great time it's awesome guys to be able to see that follow-up you know sometimes you run a lure through you get hit you miss the fish especially on top of water you could typically follow up with a different bait and catch that fish you seen gavin do it with the chatter bait you know i threw that plopper out there that bass hit that thing like five times never hooked himself gavin threw that chatter bait in there and pow man he's able to land him all right guys that's a wrap we'll see you on the next one